What's going on guys, it's Mirage Moda here, back with another video, and today we are on Gran Turismo Sport, and I was reviewing the new Mustang Mach 40 that was released in the, in the March DLC, so pretty much I was trying to get this car a little shakedown, and give you my impression of me personally driving this. I had a little technical difficulties there with my wheel, I'm not sure what happened, veered off, but anyway... I was just trying to get this car a little shakedown, see how good it was doing, and yeah, so we're going over here now, I believe I crashed, I'm not 100% sure, I don't know, it looks like we made it through alive, but I'm just trying to give the car a little test drive, see how much I like it, I didn't do so good in the corners, as you can see coming up, but this car is more for straight line speed, but I was trying my best. I had to run this car with some assist on because it was really difficult. So I have uh, ABS on and I have my traction control settings up to two. And I was just pretty much seeing how good I can do in this car on around the Nürburgring GP. So we're coming into this corner now. For some reason, like, I believe it was because my ABS settings on weak. Well, when I hit the brakes, the car would veer a little off to the left. Now, I'm not sure if that's my wheel or not, but I just wanted to include that just in case. This car is very difficult to drive without uh, traction control because the car is a constant burnout, but I I'm not 100% sure. Oh, I crashed there, but I believe this car was built on the 2005-2006 Ford GT, uh, and then they passed it over to Mach the 69 yeah 69 like Mach 1 body or something I'm not 100% sure on the backstory the story oh my gosh the backstory of this car I just know they added it in and yeah, it's an interesting car I mean I haven't really seen that many mid-engine Mustangs around with a based on the Ford GT so I mean it's, it's a pretty cool car and we're almost done with the first lap here coming up I believe I go off here too. I was just trying to adjust myself to the way the car brakes and all that. And I believe my wheel acted up there as well, but So we're gonna get back on here and we're just gonna see. This is my first time like pre-recording. Like I'm watching the clip right now and I'm commentating over it. Hopefully this comes out well. I'm not really that sure. But yeah. So now we're on our second lap now. I'm gonna break at the wrong time. We're gonna go off again, which isn't that surprising. At, later on in the video, I'm, I get my breaking points down, but for now, I'm still really trying to figure out how good the brakes are. Uh, this is my first actual drive around the track. Like I drove, drove, I drove this once. That's not like a straight to see how it was. And, I crashed, so I'm like, whatever. It was late at night. But now I can actually give it a good shakedown and see how good it can do in a racing situation. So we're going to come up to the section again. Like this is one of my favorite parts of this track. I believe I get the breaking point right, yeah. Right there. It, it was a little understeery because the engine's in the back and there's really not too much weight on the front. So at times the car would understeer and it would go way off the track, but I, I would pull it back. Now brake right there. I'm pretty sure that's the proper braking zone. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, the car just un understeers and I couldn't really hit any of my apexes at all. We're gonna... Now I'm pretty sure I get this exit, this little S section down pretty good throughout the video so I'm only gonna get faster through that and I believe I go off again because I was breaking at the 140 meter sign as you can see but I have to break a little sooner in this car just because the way it's set up I have a I painted my own uh, custom livery on there which is I tried to copy the original Mach 1's orange and black stripe on the side in my own little rendition so I have a nice orange on there and on the side panels I have a black stripe going throughout the bottom of the car but it's a pretty unique looking car I really like how the spoiler comes up in the back once you hit like 
let's see. Like 80, like 89, 90 miles per hour it comes up. I like that spoiler a lot. The front, I'm not really a big fan of. I love the front bumper, but like, not really. If you look at it from the side, it looks a bit weird. Now we're in interior mode right now. I do, I do pretty good in interior mode in this game. I'm not sure why. I break way too early for that. So I speed up a little, then I break again. Uh, we're now we're coming back. I think I go a little wide, I'm not sure. I think I nailed it that time. Yeah, I did. Wow. <laughs> uh, so now we're gonna break. But yeah, I basically do get around this part. Starting to get the feel of the car. It's still a lot of understeery. But yet at the same time, it's manageable now. Run a, run a little wide. Exiting that corner. Now, this is the S section. I think I get it down pretty good here. Oh, yeah, I hit the grass. My car just completely veered off. So, I believe I hit, get the apex on this. Pretty sure I did. Nice little apex. And then the entry was. Uh, the exit wasn't that bad. Um, yeah, I pretty much get this corner down pat. Not really. <laughs> I sort of veered off. I'm pretty sure it's the brakes in the car. Like, they're not that good. I'm definitely going to upgrade the brakes after this, but just giving this a little st shakedown stock. Now, this car comes with like 747 horsepower, which is insane for a car like this, because it's, it's uh, pretty light, I would say. So, I get that pretty down pat, coming over here again, and we're braking and returning. So, uh, I'm, I would get around here. So, I was doing pretty good. I was actually starting to enjoy driving this car. I have to lift off here or else I'm going to understeer off. And then, I get that. Yeah, what I was talking about with the brakes, I just veered off left again. I'm pretty sure it's the brakes in the car, but yeah. So, next lap, it's not really that interesting. I just drive and... I do pretty good around that lap. So, I mean, this is my car. <laughs> I'm not really sure what else I have to say. I mean, I pretty much said everything that needs to be said. So overall, I would give this car a solid like seven out of 10. I like the looks, but they could be a little better in the front. The braking, the brakes aren't really, aren't really that good. Uh, but besides that, I mean, I don't really have a problem with it. And, oh, it can be a little understeery at times. That's another thing <laughs> that I mentioned. Uh, but besides that, I mean, it's a pretty good car. I'm pretty sure it's more for straight line speed, but... You know, gotta give it a little shakedown anyway. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. And yeah, Marauder Motor out. <laughs> I don't really have an intro or outro yet, so here's me crashing, and then, I don't know, we're still in the works. Alright, see you guys.